Hey there, everybody. What is going on? Sean here with the Tech Gremlin Warrior. And today we are playing with the Windows 11 taskbar. So if you're wondering, hey, how do I customize the Windows 11 taskbar? How do we, you know, maybe you want to make it more like Windows 10. Well, if that's what you're looking for, you're at the right place. Let's jump over to our fresh install of Windows 11 and let's play around with the Windows 11 taskbar. All right. So um, let's look at this taskbar. Taskbar, again, for those if you're wondering, um, been around forever, is down here on the very, very bottom. And what you'll, you'll notice right away, uh, it's the Windows 11 taskbar for the first time has the start menu. Okay, this, this is the Windows start menu right here uh, and all your icons in the middle. Okay, used to be with all other versions of Windows that it would be all the way over here to the left. And um, Nothing wrong with that. Some people really like it. Uh, if you're wanting to switch, move it over to the left, you can do that and, and make it more like Windows 10 uh, and all the other previous versions of Windows. Why I like it over to the left, and it's not done there yet, but it's going to be after this video, uh, is because I like having a lot more space for all my icons. And again, uh, some people say, hey, um, you don't really need to have all your icons down here on the taskbar. It's very, very easy to find a program, and I'll show you that also in this video. Um, but let's walk in here and, and look at this. Very first thing you're going to want to do here uh, is to do anything with your taskbar. Probably the quickest way to edit it is to just right click on it with your mouse. All right. And once you right click on it, you have two options come up. Task Manager. That's going to be for other videos. Uh, but right here uh, underneath that is taskbar settings. So you click on that. Okay, and this is going to open up all of the different settings for your taskbar. So I'm going to minimize this right now for, for now. So I want to point out something else over here to the far left. Another thing that I'm not a super big fan on of, but it's there. And that is this, what they call widget. Okay. And, uh, this, this widget will have either like maybe the weather will show up and it just, it's random, or you're going to have some kind of a headline show up like this. Um, you know, it'll have random stuff showing up. And then when you hover over it, it opens up. And for me, I just look at this and it's just it's just a mess. And you can go in here and, yeah, you can change this and supposedly customize it and make it your own. Uh, but long story short, basically you just say, hey, I don't want to see uh, anything else from ABC News. I don't want to see anything else from Newsweek, right? But they're still going to just feed you tons and tons of stuff. And, you know, you might like that. For me, I don't. So the question is, number one, how do we get rid of the widget? So, okay, so over here is the gear icon. That's letting us know that, that we have Windows settings open. Again, uh, whenever you have something open, it's going to show you that it's open on this taskbar here. All right, and we have a little um, underline under it to let you know that it's actually active. Okay, so we're going to go over to our settings again because we had opened it earlier. And uh, right in here, widgets. All right, and if we click that toggle to off, the widgets are going to be gone. It's gone now. Let's take, click it back on and see, it came back up. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> all right. So the widget's now gone. So the next question might be, all right, how do I get my icons and the start menu moved over to the left, kind of like Windows 10? And that's kind of that's kind of more buried, all right? Uh, and there's not a whole lot on this page at first sight. Um, but when you start using these drop down arrows to open things up, you're going to see a lot more options come up. And this is what's going to happen when we go to taskbar behaviors, which gives us the option. There's a, a setting in here to move everything over to the left. All right. And right over here, uh, again, it's easy to miss, but taskbar alignment right under here under taskbar behaviors, we've, we've expanded it. And the very first thing after we expand it that we see is taskbar alignment right now, it's set to center. All right. Now we can click this up to left and boom, it's now at the left. All right. Now, if you're wondering what happens with the widget, if you do want the widget uh, still and have that on the left, what happens when you've done that? Well, let's click widget back on. OK, now widgets showing up on the right. So if you still want the widgets, you can still do that even if you move it over to the left. All right. So now we've got it looking a little bit more like Windows 10, if that's what you prefer. And you've got it, uh, again, um, more real estate down here for more icons if you like to have lots of icons. Now, the next question that comes to mind is, you know, what about this little search box here? What does that do? All right. 
you might be thinking, hey, if I type that in, is it going to open up the web page? Well, uh, it, it opens up. It's, it's kind of cool in, in some ways, I think, because it opens up some of the things that you've recently opened. You can tell that I looked at Copilot uh, recently. I've, I've checked for updates almost all the time. Um, control panel, um, which is kind of where we're at right now. Other users, uh, I added a local account um, so that it's, it's a local rather than my Microsoft account and doing everything in the cloud type of thing. Um, and so that's what it's showing here. And then you have these other things that kind of come up that look very, very similar to our widget. All right. Now let's compare that to the Windows Start menu. Look at this. There's a search function. All right. And if you use this search function, it's going to give you pretty much the same exact stuff that you would use if you use the search function here. So the question is, do you want both? You don't have to have both. They are a little different. As you can see here, we've got recent. And if you go into the start menu, it's not recent. We have pinned and we have recommendations, but there's no recent stuff. So that's how it's different is you've got this recent uh, items with the search box. Me, I don't really think I need both. All right. Uh, now, the question again comes to mind is, you know, how do we remove search? And right up at the very, very top, when you very first open up your Windows taskbar, here, let's close this up. We go and right click and we do taskbar settings. And as soon as you open it up, very first thing at the very top is your search box. All right. And right now it's showing the search box and it's got a little, you know, picture on the right. Okay. We can click on that. And now we can do search icon and label. What does that mean? Search icon is that little magnifying glass and a label that says search. All right. So if we use the drop down again and just say search icon only, now it's just the magnifying glass. And that's still kind of cool. It's a lot more uh, minimized and without a bunch of garbage. And, and uh, <laughs> again, that's just my preference. Um, if you still want that search function, this is how I would do it if I was going to keep it. Um, or you can just go up here and do hide. Okay. And now it's gone. All right. So now we've got uh, this looking a little bit, you know, a lot more like, you know, Windows 10 and a lot more for me uh, dialed in the way I'd like it. Again, with the beauty of this is that you can use these features and, and get it the way you like it uh, for the most part. Now, uh, you've got what they call here system tray icons. Your system tray is over here on the right. All right. That's where the clock is. That's where your uh, date is. Uh, and uh, if you're using uh, the, a pen, all right you know, and, and using maybe a tablet, um, you would, you would have this feature here, touch keyboard with no keyboards attached. Again, uh, these are just kind of default things I don't even mess with. Uh, you have other system tray icons that you can play around with, um, things that you can turn on and off. Uh, and, and so that you can see down here, uh, by default. Now, when I say by default, let's, let's see what happens when we say, oh, Windows security notification. What happens when that's on? Notice all of a sudden this is showing up in the tray. Now, it was still there with show hidden icons. So if we turn this off and we do show hidden icons, there it is there too. Okay. So it's just basically letting you know uh, what you can show without having to use that arrow, right? So that's how you would kind of play around with the system tray icons. And then there's some other things that you can do with your date and time notifications. This is kind of nice. I like to just turn them off and then I'm not getting bothered, especially when I'm doing videos. All right. So um, let's go ahead and let's do one other thing. Maybe you're not a fan of this gray or maybe it's another color because it could be that after you install windows it, it's going to be looking a little bit different than what you're looking at here so the question comes uh, into play is how do you um change the way this looks right here okay and what i just did is i just went to personalization all right so again i'm going to, to click out of this completely and then what we're going to do uh, is i'm going to minimize this window here and this is my virtual machine now we're on my main machine okay and this is my main machine this is my taskbar let's go ahead and do taskbar settings okay now we're going to go to personalization we're going to go to colors okay and what we're seeing here is i've got a mode that we're using and you want to basically use dark or custom when you're using these colors all right and then Right now, I'm not using anything at all, but I've picked a color. And what this color is doing right now is it's this little underline right here. All right. It's letting me know that this is the active window. 
and that's what this is. Now watch what happens. If I want to change this from the dark black to this green, right here, so accent color on start and taskbar. I click that from off, so I'm going to toggle it from off to on, and boom. Now if I want to change that to a different color, uh, let's just do purple. Boom, it's now purple. If we want to do it to blue, we could go blue. All right, view colors. We could go into here and you could make it a custom color. All right, you can go in here and change the color that way if you wanted to. And you just, you know, again, you're probably familiar with this. You would just go drag it around and say, hey, I want kind of a green. Maybe I want more of an olive drab. Where would that be? You know, you could play around down here, darken that up a little bit. Go over here, there, kind of getting close to, to something. And then we could just do done. And there, it changed it. All right. So we're going to go back to this color here. All right. I'm going to toggle this off because I don't think I want that dark green there. I'm going to toggle off and make it black. Um, and then you have some other options here for showing accent colors. All right. So that's where you're changing the color, all right, of the taskbar. We're going to go out, we're going to go back to our virtual machine and open that up, and we haven't changed it again, the color on this. Um, but now the question is, what about these icons down here? These are like quick launch things for those programs that you want to get to fast. Some people say, hey, you can get to them fast by going here and going to pinned, and we'll go into that in another video. Um, but you might want to go into here and uh, say, I don't really want Outlook. And you can right click on Outlook. And you can say unpin from taskbar. Same thing here. This is the Microsoft Store. I, I almost never use the Microsoft Store. Um, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to unpin from taskbar. Windows Copilot. This is kind of cool. Let's just open up real quick and take a peek. Um, or not. It's, it's, uh, it's processing. I want to say it's thinking. And hey, how can I help? And that opens up Copilot so you can start using Copilot, which is AI. File Explorer, you're definitely going to want to keep this available. This allows you to get in. And again, we'll do another deep dive into the File Explorer in another video. Uh, but that's where you go to save files, to access files, and manage all of your files. Really, really cool. Uh, another option that I really, really like, and that is this um, Tiles option. Desk, multiple desktops. Uh, and what it does is if you have different projects going on, you can open up a whole new desktop. And what it is now, you have two desktops, another one. And then I could have something going on for maybe one project with all the associated windows with one windows. So let's just open up this and just say we're, we're working with um, Windows Explorer. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're working with Microsoft Edge and doing whatever with that, right? And then we'll go back to our windows and we'll go to this window here and uh, let's open that back up. It minimized it. Let's open up wind, uh, edge. All right. Now let's go back over here. See how it's letting you know that that's open. Now we go over here and we click on it and notice the other thing about this. You might not use multiple desktops, but it lets you know what you have opened. How cool is that? So even if you're not using the multiple desktop features, it does let you know when we hover over it, click over it again. Whoop. Uh, yeah, you got to hover over it. It just was being stupid. Uh, it lets you know what windows are open. All right. So that's really, really helpful. Even if you're not using the multiple desktops, like right now, I'm going to take this out. Just going to get out of it. Now look at what it did when I exit out of it. It moved the Microsoft Edge to the current desktop. And now you can see I've got settings open. Settings, right? And I'm working with Microsoft Edge. Yeah. All right. So it just gives you an idea of what you have opened when you click on it. And I think that that can be really, really helpful for you as well. All right. Now what happens if you have a program you want to um, save down here that's not saved. All right. So this is where that uh, I would go over into the Windows Start menu. Right over here, these are all pin things. We'll go over that in another video. We click on All. And um, I really like the calculator. I use that a lot. So you, you go over the calculator, right click on it, and right here, I can unpin from Start. Let's open it up. Now what I'm going to do, now that it's open, 
going to go down here. I'm going to right click on it. Why it doesn't give us the option to pin the taskbar from the start menu, I don't know. It's just one of those quirks. Uh, I guess Microsoft didn't think about that. But you open it up and now pin to taskbar. Okay. And now we'll watch what happens when I close it down. It's still there, so I can easily get to it. Now, the next question is, what if I don't want it over here? Okay. I'm right, or I'm sorry, I'm left clicking on it. I'm just going to drag it. And I think I'm going to put it right there. Okay, I'm going to open up because it says it's open right now. It's got a little underline on it. And here we're done with our settings. So we're going to open that up, see how the settings went away. If we wanted to, we could go into settings. Let's just see if we can pin it. All right, I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to go over here. We're going to right click on it. And look, we can pin the taskbar. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to close it. Okay, that's the other thing. You can close windows from the taskbar. And our settings is still there. Open it up. And it, talk, it brought us back to the kind of main page for settings, but there's our settings. So that's if you wanted that. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and unpin from taskbar. And again, I'm going to go ahead and close Microsoft Edge right from here. And we're closed. We're back down to our desktop. Now, the other thing that I want to show you, uh, and again, this can be something that's toggled off or on, but let's just say that we have this window open and we have this window open. And let's just say we have our calculator open and you're needing to get to the desktop fast. Maybe you have something saved on the desktop. I don't recommend it because I think it's kind of messy, but that's just my preference. But let's just say you want to get to the desktop. Just hover over here to the far right. Okay. And see where it says show desktop kind of popped up a little bubble. Okay. Um, if you click on that now, Everything minimizes in, the, in your at your desktop. Now, watch what happens when I click on it again. So my, my mouse is still where it's at. I just left the mouse where it was at. Now watch what happens when I click on it again. Everything opened back up. All right. So in, that's kind of what I liked about uh, older versions of Windows is they actually had a little bar here to let you know something was there. Um, this isn't showing you that uh, on Windows 11. And I don't know if there's a way to bring it back. There might be. Um, but... Uh, it's just a feature that uh, I thought maybe it was just gone, but it's still there in Windows 11. All right. So let's go ahead and just close all this down because we're done playing with it. But that's really how you kind of change the Windows 11 taskbar to make it your own. That's how you kind of make the changes if you want to move the taskbar back over to the left to make it more like Windows 10. Uh, that's how you would add and remove your your start uh icons for a specific program or programs, right? Uh, so there you go. The basics of the Windows 11 taskbar. And now, if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching.